What's up, everyone? My name is Chris Liu, and welcome to Purgatorium Family Torn Apart. It's a preview demo. A couple of things I want to say before I jump into this. Um, one, this is by, forgive me, I'm trying not to butcher your name, sir, but Piotr Bunkowski. That's the only, that last part. I'm just going to call him Bunkowski. Of Hades Productions. Now, that I'm sorry if I butchered your name. But I tried really hard. It took me five minutes just to sit... I was sit there for five minutes staring at your name thinking, how the hell am I going to say this? But I am not sure if this is a point-and-click horror game because the images he had on his Game Jolt page weren't very descriptive. But at the same time, I don't care. It looks like it might be some fun. The last point-and-click horror game I did was Cursed Roots. I was actually, I think, a couple of videos ago, which for me was about two weeks ago. I've been putting a lot of effort in my own personal projects. And I'm not familiar with point-and-click horror games. Like, I'm not really big on them. But this looked like looked interesting. Um, the imagery he had for this was actually in interesting to me because the pictures I was able to see looked like they were actual photos that he had edited to make into something scary, which I love that. In fact, for my game, Salvation and Corruption, um, whenever you first um, encounter... The being known as Groth, the entire silhouette of him is actually me in a really corny cape. Trivia! But anyway, uh, we're going to jump right into this. I don't want to talk too much about myself. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, the con uh, couple, and One more couple things here. Controls are uh, left mouse button to move around, or not move around, to interact. Right mouse button to turn on your flashlight. Um, the middle mouse button, or the wheel, to open your inventory. And then uh, the escape button to pause. He did put a disclosure on this. It is incredibly unforgiving and incredibly hard. So I've got 20 minutes to figure this out. So let's go ahead and start this. All right. Oh! That is so cool! You play as a person named Anna, by the way. I love this. This is so cool. This is so cool. The noise is really getting to me. Like, at least I won't be lost in complete darkness. Oh, this is so... Can I, can I move? No, but this is so cool! Oh man, I am loving every second of this. This is so cool. What's this? Another broken light switch, okay. Oh, this is so awesome. Even I have to admit that's pretty corny, but the concept is awesome. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. The the noise, the sound of it was giving me the most heebie-jeebies. So the atmosphere is nice. So let's give this another shot. Like I'm always afraid something's just gonna jump out and get me. Oh, I, I love this. I mean, it, it's. It looks so cheesy, but you can tell he put a lot of effort into this. I like games that use, or projects in a sense, that use as much live action as possible. Music, sounds, pictures, videos. I love that because that puts in, that, that takes away the possibility of using pre-made shit. So this looks nice. The less pre-made stuff they that somebody has, the more interesting it becomes. Hold it in the center there, come on. Damn it! That is hard. That is that is rough. I love the concept, though. I, I, again, I love 
any kind of game that has some unique objects in it rather than using constantly pre-made or pre-used graphics or imagery. I love this so much. I gotta give it another couple of tries, see if I can't get through it. I'm really interested to see if I can get past the mother fucking thing. Get past getting stabbed to death. I would, as, as a bit of feedback, I would make that a little less of a pain in the ass. Because <laughs> that seems to be hypersensitive. You even so much as go near the exit of it. And you're screwed. So it's locked. I don't know what she's speaking, if anything, legible in a sense. Okay, so we got that, another broken light switch. I think he's coming, I can't let him get me, okay. Let's see if I can't hold on to this. Come on, come on. <gasps> Did I do it? Awesome. Or can I go? Oh, okay, I can go that way. Let's go this way. Useless jump. Ooh, a knife! She won't, she won't show up in my inventory. Let's see. To, okay, I can go back. Can I go back yet? Okay. I have no idea where I'm going at the moment. Okay. Um, we don't want to go that way. We'll go this way. Adventures go left. Locked. There's a chair on the table. It's locked as well. Okay. Um... Can I go up these stairs? Yes, I can. Choosing random buttons here. Oh man, why? Okay. Need a key, okay. Is there any other way I can go? So I might have to just go backwards. Let's try to get this way. Oh, I was just there! God, I'm an idiot! Okay. Now what about this way? That drop of water scared the shit out of me. Locked. My kingdom for a key! Okay, cool. Apparently we can't do shit! Which is fine, I guess that adds to the horror aspect of it. Uh, some kind of concrete remains. I don't know where this stuff goes, I am getting lost. I was just here, goddammit! I need a map! Let's go down this hallway. Wait. Wasn't I? Yes, I was. Alright, so let's just go backwards here, see how far back we can go. Okay, let's go this direction. We haven't been here before. Locked. Wait a minute. I was here, god damn it! I need a map! Go back one more time here. So, um, did we just go that way? I'm not sure. Let's go right. Damn, this door seems reinforced. No point in trying. Steel doors, now pad padlocks. I'm wasting time. What time do we have? Seriously! Let's go straight. Okay, I just did this one, okay. Adventures go left. 
Can't open it. It's locked. Wait, this is where I just... <laughs> I'm losing my motherfucking mind. Alright. Alright, so there is that stairway there. Let's go this way, see what happens when I go this way. It could have been my way out. Okay. I am desperately trying to figure something out. I get it, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> um, let's see. Okay, so... Oh, we can go that way. What's this way? That... That scared the piss out of me, dude. I am not at all sure what the fuck that was, but it was damn spooky. Am I seeing eyeballs just popping up out of nowhere on here? Ooh, I am still tensed up from that. Let's see. Um, I'm trying so hard to figure this out. Not with that attitude, you won't. Alright. <clears throat> You see a chair on the other side, okay. Can't get in, the gate is locked as well. Can I, like, not win? Okay, I am horribly lost. I am desperately trying. I know I've got a limited time. Let's do this. Let's just go backwards until we run into something. Friendly or not, we need to run into something. We went that way, there's nothing to go that way. Oh, is this new? Sorry guys, I am desperately trying to figure something out. I'm hearing noises. Like, not friendly noises either. Alright. See what do we got? Okay, a pair of scissors. Okay. I am suitably lost. What is that noise? Alright. I don't know what that noise is, but it's very sci-fi-ish and gives me a slight degree of tangible hope. Um, okay, so we're seeing all this mess. We go, that's right, the stairs didn't hold anything useful. Alright, so we were just there. Okay, we were also just here. Um... Alright, never mind that. Um, cancel. Um, let's close that. 
Alright, so now I am, again, thoroughly confused, lost, and all sorts of things. Oh boy, okay, um... Turn off the mat. This is like, seriously, like a three-door dungeon, and it's irritating the snap out of me. The snap, crackle, plop. Wait a minute, what's this? Maybe I can... It broke out. It will come in handy. Something tells me that I'm about to get, like, hit hard with something, and it's about to make me shit my pants. Which right now probably would be a benefit. Alright. Let's go this way. Broken pipe. Okay. Okay, so let's try to go back. Let's go to this. Okay. You're just gonna hold the pipe up? Alright, well, I'm getting close to running out of time on this, and I have desperately tried figuring shit out. What am I doing? Don't have time to think about it. Uh-uh. Alright, anyway. I don't know what the hell to do on this right now, so... I am lost. <laughs> you said it was incredibly unforgiving, and obviously he wasn't freaking kidding. Anyway, this is... Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. This is Purgatorium uh, by Piato Hades Productions. I'll say that. Um, I am utterly lost. Uh, be sure to give this... It's, it's very early demo, so... Whoops. Give this a try if you guys want. I am totally lost. If you guys can find a way around all this mess and give me... Give me a map, good sir. <laughs> Let me keep a map of where I'm going. Anyway, moving on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Link to this game is going to be in the description. As well, the National Anthem Mental Illness. Support them in any way you can. If you or someone you know is suffering, feel free to make those resources available. Highly employed. And the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Same with that. Okay. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my game, Salvation and Corruption, is coming soon. Um, it's going to be released on Halloween. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with that. Oh, God, this is creeping the crap out of me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see anything else, horror games or otherwise, and until next time, see you guys later. Uh.